Okay, today we have Anastasia with us. How are you? Thank you so much, guys, for having me here. I feel amazing and very exciting to be here with you. Yeah, welcome yeah. to What the Fuck is Happening. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see our name and you're like, yeah, I want to come on. What the fuck is happening over here? <laughs> exactly, exactly. That made me come here. Wow, really? thank you. Yeah, thank I you remember, so like, she just messaged, like, are you guys, like, free to, like, collab? I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Let's just do it. Sure. Yeah, you know? I would sure. love to do I do collabs with everyone. <laughs> yeah. So we're in this mode of collaborating with, uh, influencers and uh, something like influencers. That's amazing. I feel yeah. like here in UAE, that's never going to be like, you know, you're never going to get rid of the content then. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, yeah. yeah. So we started off with our friends and then we went on to external friends mm. and then we're like, okay, no, I think we're ready now to like, yeah. speak to uh, influencers and people like topping their industry. But right you're doing now. pretty good. Yeah. 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 Love, yeah. Thanks yeah like first two, three episodes we were with our friends and you know, that's, that's where we got comfortable a little bit because both of us were like... Really? I would be the opposite. Yeah. If I'm yeah. with my friend, I feel like I would be the most awkward person in the world, especially <laughs> if they know <laughs> shit about me. Yeah. I would be like, like yeah, really? but you know. <laughs> that's the thing. No. So, and, um, so we started off because we were just sitting one day and we were like, yeah, you know what? I really want to do a podcast. So, mm -hmm. so we both were like, you know, let's, let's do this. You know, and we were drunk so <laughs> so we're like yeah let's do this so that's how we started off with your thing but how did you start off with your uh, photography and everything over here mm. so uh, i'm not only the photographer although this is okay the main thing that i do i'm a professional photographer but i'm full-time content creator so anything around content creation and marketing i'm your girl like you have a mm. brand i know how to market it make a content for it put it in a market and sell it better than you do before Damn. So Whoa. everything around it so if I come up with uh, what the fuck is happening product slippers, for example. Yeah. <laughs> for example, yeah. yeah. You definitely have to have some merch, man. Like, think about it. On some on some point, yeah. Yeah. we're going we're gonna to advertise and market your merch. Of course. That's, yes. that's, that's, that's going to be the left. next time I'm going to be here. Yeah. So we're going to launch your merch, okay? <laughs> yeah. That's done. That's done. We're going to be launching it with you, though, right? Done. Yeah. Perfect. Nice. I want to I'm gonna have the trial product, yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm. Nice. All right. So what do you do? Like, like what's your story? You heard it tell your story, right? Yeah. Okay. Can we start from where you're from? Yes, please. So I'm a Siberian. Uh, in Russia, I born and raised in Siberia. Very cold place where the people always think like the controversial things about us. The thing about Siberians, we survive in a super cold temperature yeah. and it's super hot temperature in the summer, which is not many people know that we actually also have both. Yeah. I just know about the snow. Yeah. Exactly. The I people only think that like we are just like cold. freezing yeah. there yeah. to death, yeah. which is also happening, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not like that is not true. But in the summer, we also have like similar weather as here, like plus 35, plus 37 degrees. Yeah. And that's the thing about Siberia and we can survive both and this is make us our body and our mind like very strong so this is what you heard about like you know yeah. Siberian yeah. tough people like tough, yeah. Right, this tough. Is, yeah the weather is like main point I guess about it so yeah. I born there and I never thought they are gonna be a content creator as a matter of fact yeah. Yeah. yeah I was always I was a bookworm I was a very good girl like reading my books being yeah. alone you know in my room I have three older brothers who oh. raised me Sick. as a tomboy yeah. like wow, literally really? like a tomboy yeah, yeah but i was super super shy to get like out somewhere so i was just with me and my books yeah. so i thought i'm gonna be maybe either a writer or journalist like just you know like telling something people to do stories. with books yeah, yeah it's yeah. something to do around yeah. the books around the stories i always love storytelling yeah. the blogger or influencer as a profession was not existed mm -hmm. if you're thinking true, back that okay true, i'm old <laughs> yeah. i i know I, you're I like you're that old uh, <laughs> i am that old <laughs> 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 I am, <laughs> you guys are teenagers <laughs> Like for me, so I am that old, and like there was not even idea like that. So you either thinking about like TV journalist, yeah. Yeah. but that is like something that didn't really excite me. That's like blinking, you know, yeah. part of it. So I thought I'm gonna be a, like a real journalist to bring in the truth, like an, you know. In the, in, uh, what is it called? Investigative journalist. Yeah, yeah. investigator yeah. in a war zone. Crime, I'll go yeah. somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. gonna get the interviews for a president. I was very, very into politics that moment. And just yeah. imagine it's like deep in Russia. Yeah. Somewhere where you barely can talk out loud like much yeah. if you have any controversial opinions yeah yeah and i had those a lot <laughs> oh, wow okay. so this is where my story started so i guess it's a good thing that you didn't become a journalist right uh, mm -hmm. i guess you got always have the better plan for us because <laughs> yeah. for me it just it didn't happen and um, you know then many people probably gonna tell you uh, the inspiring story how they were thinking about something dreaming and working so hard for that and then it's happening yeah. well for me it was absolutely 
opposite. <laughs> <laughs> my story and my delulu just didn't happen. Okay? okay, I was working super. Just imagine the bookworm. Just imagine the person who has eight plus grade on a, every like you know subject in school. Yeah. Like a very good like girl, very like shy person who works super hard, read all the books in the program, do the math, <laughs> do everything. So I was thinking like, okay, I'm gonna be a journalist in that particular university, which is like only have five vacant places for the whole Russia. And it was that delulu. Just I said, I'm gonna get it. I I'm gonna be there like I, I can do it and yeah. man I did not <laughs> I failed big time yeah. you know like that was for me the first heartbreak of my life wow. Wow. people get like they heartbroken <laughs> as they've been teenagers boys. yeah, yeah <laughs> boys and I didn't care yeah. about boys so okay? university <laughs> broke your heart isn't it university was the first uh, man that broke my heart wow. <laughs> like, yeah but did you just leave books right after that like fuck books you know I actually leave everything thing i was kind of like i was deeply depressed there back then like i'll be honest to you like i didn't know what to do completely with my life because that was the only purpose i saw and like only like delude that i built for myself that okay i want to be there yeah and there's a like a bad thing probably to say like if there's somebody waiting something like you just can't like put it and it's going to be just exactly as you imagine exactly. if you're working hard no yeah. not necessary that's not called necessarily. what the fuck is happening yeah. by the way yeah <laughs> and that's what the fuck but happened yeah. to me fair, the thing fair. is i got depressed and I didn't know where to go like that moment. Like I completely fell off and I didn't think I'm going to be a content creator or photographer. That, yeah, that I mean, time. I don't even think it crossed your mind. mind it didn't. It didn't. Yeah. It never. It never did. I, you know, like as everybody, I saw the cameras and yeah. I never even was interested to pick one and start shooting. Like never, ever. So how did it start? How did it yeah. begin? How did how did you like journey? get that thing? OK, I want to take some photos now. Like, how yeah. did that happen? That is a funny thing. Like, I was not even wanted to, like, take a photo or something. But I was, as I told you, like, I was depressed. It was the same, still same period, like 17, 18 year old. Imagine all like, you, all your friends get to the university they wanted. All they start in the path. Like, you know, they starting uh, getting new friends. Like, after school, you all split. Like, you know, you're having your own, like, paths and something. And me, like, complete heartbroken and depressed, I cut of everyone including even my family really? like i was not talking with anyone i was crying my eyes like to sleep for weeks and that's when funny enough photography came to me because one of my friend had a studio just like you guys here yeah. with a lot of cameras just like around the corners <laughs> yeah. like everywhere like laying and not really being used daily yeah he told me it's like okay you know what um just for the matter of trying something, just for the matter of like, I don't know, do something else to shift your mind, maybe pick up this camera, which is at that point, if you're familiar with uh, like old uh, Canon cameras, it was, yeah. I think, 550D or something. It was like, it's super cheap, like not even like worth or like super quality camera at this right. point. Like yeah. now, like nobody would care yeah. and like buy it, right? Yeah. But that time I saw it, I'm like, man, I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to touch this thing. I'm going to break it. You know, yeah. like this yeah. girl, it's like the, for me, the car, open it's the car for really me really now really and like tell me like fix this mustang uh, i'm like i'm not gonna touch anything <laughs> here no, uh, 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 no, uh. same as the thing like with the camera i'm like i'm not gonna touch a thing i'm not gonna break it he's like you know what break it you know what i'm i'm there i dare you break this camera like take it take some picture go around if you break it break it Hollis. okay wow. it's good good it's yours and that's the thing for me uh he told me he has 15 minutes for me hmm. we sit sit literally like uh you and me guys now yeah. we take the coffee and he said like only one thing i'll not let you do and i'll not let you shoot on a uh you know automatic mode okay so on auto interesting i'll not let you shoot on auto so i will show you what is the iso what is the manual you know yeah, uh yeah. mode in camera like a demo uh, just the demo like yeah. 15 minutes we literally had a coffee in 15 minutes he, he showed me shutter speed where is the iso what is it how it works like this you remember you not remember Alyssa, you only have manual yeah and mm. he left me there like in a in a coffee shop in the middle of the city wow. he just left me wow. i picked the camera I went around and since that moment, I knew what I going to do my whole life. Wow. wow. Like, seriously. But I want to yeah. know, like, why did he not let you do the automatic mode? Like, what is the difference? Like, what, what was the reason? Well, for I that? wish he would be here, right? Not to <laughs> ask. But I think he wanted, you know, by knowing me for a few years, he wanted to give me some kind of a challenge to mm, shift fair. my brain like a little more and to interest me a little more, to put me some work. Like, I'm the person, yeah. if there's a challenge, if I have to put up some work, yeah. you know, it's always like yeah. that. It's yeah. more worth for you. You want to be challenged. Yeah, yeah. I want to be challenged. <laughs> I want to be challenged. That's like, why I'm here and I'm with you guys. I <laughs> love a challenge. challenge come on it is it is for me it's so easy this we is the first podcast ever for me so i, I am good challenged. you're doing great oh, you're doing great yeah like very good guys 
All right. So, what was the first thing that you clicked from with that camera? Uh, yeah. Okay. I went. Yeah, I remember that day as now. I went around my city and every little kid. I don't know why really caught my attention because kids you know they're the yeah. purest they're yeah. the easiest to take picture they're yeah. the funniest always yeah. and even though like there was the kids that i didn't know like some random we start to play with them so i start like i started running around with some kids nice. it was summer yeah it was the time when everybody go to university so you know like August, so you took September. some time off from university uh no it oh, was literally me. literally like a summer time so everybody okay, already fair. got into yeah. the fair, university fair, 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 yeah. and i didn't like i just went after a few weeks when I get over my depression yeah. and put my document somewhere randomly. Okay. Like, okay. okay, my parents want me to have a degree. Yeah, okay. No, so so for the parents. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. Okay, fair. Mm. So what degree did you do? Like, what did you study in that? Mm. Funny enough, I have two. Um, so that moment, I dropped my degree for marketing. Okay. Because this is very close to journalism, yeah. right? And I, my, <coughs> sorry. It's, okay. sorry guys. it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. So that moment I dropped my uh, document for a marketing degree, which is very close to a journalist. And I thought like, okay, there's a, also a two years of journalism there in the program. So yeah. I'm going to be a journalist and marketer. Yeah. It's okay with me. Like I was interested, like advertisement yeah. and all of this is kind of fascinate me always yeah. as well. And but I was around a random one. I was never, never really interested. But after a few weeks, I took some pictures like of my friend, just exactly like you started podcast. Yeah. I call all of my friends. It's like, OK, free portraits for uh, anyone, guys. Nice. Like, oh, line yes. up, wow, line wow, up. Wow. Yeah. The, you know, profile pictures in yeah. Facebook for wow. everyone is going to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Check yeah. This out. <laughs> exactly. Like, I'm just like to, today, like you have a time today, you have a time today, you have a yeah. time today. Come on, come on. I literally invited all of my friends like to like some coffee shop and just make the, you know, profile pictures on everyone. Wow. And for me, this is what's uh, the like, challenge, I guess. Yeah. Like, everyone is a little bit different. I have to find the angle yeah. which one you gonna like yourself on my picture so yeah that's how i started like after kids okay like, so you started getting feedback yeah. from your friends straight away yes yeah, straight yeah. away Fair. and i like it so much that uh i saw a competition in my city as a matter of fact uh for like one of the uh, volunteering concern i add my pictures and after one month they contacted me that i actually won a grant as the Damn, photographer of my city nice one of your thank city you. that's crazy man that's amazing thank you thank you yeah i mean i didn't think it was a, like, any kind of big deal or something but i didn't expect it at all Fair. but that moment i called my parents and i said like okay now i know what i want to study wow. <laughs> wow that is crazy man that's a lovely story. that's i guess what happened but them yeah. were your parents like because Oh, I'll be honest with you. If I tell my parents, <laughs> I want to be a photographer, they will kill me. They will like, kick him on his yeah, like, So, what did you study? I did marketing as well. Marketing? Yeah, but I started over here in Wollongong. But I'm telling you, if I would have told them I want to do photography, mm. they would disown me. <laughs> They'd be like, So, so how let do you, me tell so, you. So, so, does photography add up to how, like, to, a prof to an acceptable profession in your culture? Uh, no, I'm going to tell you more than that. I'm still Please sometimes do. fighting <laughs> with my parents wow. over the <laughs> Still. <laughs> still, I took my mom to stay uh, by the lover in Paris, okay. like uh, around also the Paris Opera. Yeah. We had our private, like, uh, you know, apartment there and everything Sick. beautiful. And she went in the morning, she uh, took her coffee, sleep in the balcony. And she's like, I guess I'm fine with your profession <laughs> now. <laughs> still not accepting it. I'm like, I guess you can. And still, yeah, they still tell me. I'm their little girl. They still tell me, like, oh, you can do much more than that. Like, you're like, you know what? But how long are you going to be a photographer? I'm like, literally my whole life. That's my plan. <laughs> yeah, that's my plan. I'm not planning to, like, break on this, you know? And it's like, yeah, but you can do much more than that. I'm like... <laughs> Yeah, well, every inshallah. parent, right? every parent can always do yeah. much more than yeah. That. But you see, with me, when it's happened that time, like when I called and I said, like, okay, I want to do something else. I know what I want to do now. She say, no, damn, no, you're not breaking. Like you're not dropping out from university. You want to go somewhere else? You're gonna have two degree, and that's why I have two now. Wow. Yeah. So I went at the same time in a college and university, and I gotta finish them both. One Sick. for parents and one for myself. <laughs> nice, man. That's, that's very nice. So I guess I was the Did you do like, it at the same people time? pleaser. Hmm? Did you do it at the same time? No, no, university after. Okay, so thank God. Like, <laughs> otherwise, that's a bit too much. <laughs> no, no. Actually, I graduated university after I was abroad already. Whoa, so I was nice. just coming back to the country <laughs> literally to, for, to see my mom get exam, like uh, <laughs> get a. Out. <laughs> oh, wow. 
But uh, you told me you just said right now you're a, you were a people pleaser at that time. I guess. But I mean, all of us we have I something mean, like that. I mean, we all. And I as have, for parents, I was like the longest time people pleaser. But do you still think like you're but in that? You feel you get rid of it. You feel you heal. I. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you know, like I'm like okay. But sometimes when I say no, right, I'm like. Sometimes I feel good, you know, when I say like, because I was like, okay, I'm not people pleasing now, mm. you know, this thing. I'm standing up for myself. I'm standing up for myself, right. you know, that feels good, but. Every time when you say that no, when you really, really want to say that, and you, know, you pressure yourself, and I know it's uncomfortable, but yeah. you are doing this, you're saying this no, you know, deep down somewhere else, it's big yes for yourself. Yeah, so sure. I really felt like, okay, for me, it was like that. My parents would not let me, like, or would not love me to just go to college. They need me to go high degree and everything. I'm like, yeah, okay, we'll find a compromise there. But that's the parents. If there's someone else and there is not controversial for me, it's like, okay, uh, not necessary for me to be in my life, I'd rather say no. Like right now, mm -hmm. I'd rather say no. So you're very strict with that aspect of your life at the moment? I'm very strict with like what I do. And mm. if you don't love, you know, what I do and you're not accepting me for like who I am, you gotta fuck out of my life. No, nah, that's nice. that's very nice actually. My yeah. circle uh, is super small. Is is your family an exception to that? No, 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 they, no, really? no, 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 they're not. But they they accepted me yeah. as well. Okay, they had okay. to be like that's yeah. the thing. Like they know how harsh I am. Yeah. More than that, they don't always tell me it's like we try to raise the girl. Why there is one more brother <laughs> like in the family? Because I am harsh that way. Like I can be super soft somewhere else, but at my work, I'm a total. Okay. Like, it's very hard to work with me, and my family also know it. Like, okay, I love my work so much. I'm protective yeah. over this little world so much. Yeah. You want to be in my life, you got to accept me for who I am. And how did you become that way? That's interesting. You know, I guess when you're starting to travel alone, if you're starting to, like, okay, you are born and raised somewhere that you really want to get out because yeah. i'm from very poor neighborhood okay, okay. like i mm. haven't born in dubai guys yeah. i'm not from the gold <laughs> you know like golden spoons or nothing <laughs> like that no, no no we don't have yeah. any golden spoons. i don't know no about that i don't know that the no, dubai no, people no, i don't no, know guys it. yeah who yeah. knows like i i cannot <laughs> trust you everybody who born here they think they're not but for yeah. another world and yeah. then i've seen a lot of another world yeah i get it from where mm. you come from mm. and if you yeah. see it from the outside it looks like okay everyone's like, yeah you know like people are really think that in dubai we're just picking money from the trees here yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, so. but now you know how it feels as well right being here <laughs> yeah Fucking awesome no it feels great here to be honest no but that's the thing like when you decide that you are gonna get out from somewhere like you're born and raised and you're just like not being you didn't choose to be there uh, but you have to choose to fight to get out i guess you have to be a little tough like with some of the yeah, things you have to be yeah. super tough like uh What's the culture like when it comes to girls in, in Russia? Uh, in, like I have no idea. Like. Oh, I'll tell you more than that. It's not it's like in Russia it's normal to like get married by 20, 22, 24. Like in my age, normally uh, Russian couples already get divorced. And okay, <laughs> so on to the next one then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So for me, yeah, it was kind of an exception. Like in uh, my area, like in my neighborhood, something to just choose something else like choose to get out completely not just my city but like uh, get out and start to travel and more than that start to travel by myself i went to the first ever contract i went out of my country was thailand nice. and uh, i went for half year and stayed seven oh, wow. yeah and i didn't know i know zero person in thailand like i knew that moment like it seems same as here when yeah. I came here the first time, I knew zero person in UAE. Wow. So like for me to do this and to available to do this, uh, most of the people in my you know circle that time they thought like I'm complete insane. Like what is wrong with you? I heard this question so many times. Because like, what uh, is wrong? Because no one has ever seen something like that happen, right? So I guess they hear, but it's like, never in their circle. You like know? they never so seen, like, right? No, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They I don't know anyone else yeah. like you. Yeah. I, I would not say like maybe not anyone but like no not a close circle like more yeah. close close with my friends or like my my family they all they're in Russia yeah wow. and which is fine and amazing and I'm really happy for everyone who is it's their way yeah. but it wasn't mine fair that's and you fall out of it right that's crazy yeah. but for that you gotta be tough sometimes. yeah what was the talk like uh, when you had to tell your parents that you're going oh to God. Thailand yeah. for oh the first time God. you're leaving the country and now suddenly <laughs> You're not even going for a day, two days, one month. You're going for six months. Six months on a contract. Yeah. On a contract. Which I won, actually, also as a grant, kind of like a contract. But to be able to go for that job, yeah. I lied that I'm a man. So Whoa. you ask me, 
how is it with the Russian wow. girls? Yeah. I went for a Russian company, but in Thailand. Yeah. And in the description, a job description, it was male photographer. Oh wow! And I put my brother passport. No yes. way! <laughs> and when you reach there, they're like, "Wait, that's <laughs> not oh, man. I was like, uh, a, a little <laughs> bit different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe from far away. No, no, it's actually happened like on a third interview. Okay. So uh, there was the first uh, jobs. Then it was like you know the uh, some kind of they they asked me like for exact uh, like go make exact shoot. Made it up like it was the wedding photography that moment. Made it up. Uh, come back with the results and we see. And the third one. I have to meet the CEO, like, you know, the company yeah. myself, and he's going to make a decision. Because it was okay. a big questionnary, yeah. like, you know, it's Asia, like, do you like rice? Can you eat spicy? It was like many oh, things. Can, can you survive you generate, in Can you Thailand? survive in a hot, humid weather? Three can pages you? on questions yeah. if you can survive. Honestly, yes, and all the questions was ridiculous to me. I'm like, yeah, of course yeah, I can. I just want the job, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm going to tell you. Yeah, Get sure. Get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> Basically, yeah. But that, that's the thing. Like, uh, I open my laptop. I'm making a call. And I'm just saying, you know, I'm shaking inside. Yeah. I'm 19 at, the, at that point. Okay. Yeah. So I'm shaking inside. And we just, like, get on a call. He look at my eyes. Three seconds. He said, like, goodbye. And he closing yeah, the computer. Oh, he closing oh. laptop. And I tell him, man, don't you dare. Yeah. Damn. He's like, what? I'm like, there is none. There is zero thing that your photographers can do, like, uh, can do better than me. There is zero yeah. thing. They have, they have five photographers and they were looking for supervisor. Like, he said, like, there is no chance you can supervise five men. I'm like, try me. Wow. Wow. And he said he said it was bold have, enough. You need to have that confidence. You need right? to have that, yeah. I did it. You wanna go for it? I faked it, it okay? Yeah. I faked it. Fake it till you make it. Okay, fake it till you make it. You gotta you gotta do it. Like if you gotta make it done, you no, gotta you, make it done. No, in those situations and those circumstances, you had to do it. Right? Yeah. Otherwise yeah. there's no way out, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but the worst it was like to come back to my parents and tell them I'm going. Oh yeah. What was that conversation? Yeah, now what was that conversation like? What is that like? Well to be honest, that wasn't the point already where I was buying the tickets. So okay. I didn't so really give off. them much of the choice. <laughs> you're already off. <laughs> I'm already <laughs> off. I'm, I told my mom and dad we had the lunch and they, they split my parents. So okay. I brought them together to yeah. just have a lunch. And I told them like, guys, I'm going abroad now to have a, a work project. And at that point, I'm already for a couple of years photographer. So mm. they're like, okay, they kind of like, no, I'm doing this. But they said like, I deal everything with my university. They give me on leave. I'm going to come back for, uh, you know, the, the testers and everything. But I'm going. They're like, okay, for like how many days you go and something. I'm like, well, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> 180 days or something yeah. and they're like what is going on <laughs> like when did this happen yeah yeah how uh, how in the world and i told them the whole story and i made them laugh just like i made you wow. laugh now i'm like yeah. you see my brother i actually used his passport they're like mother how would you wow. do that so i made my family i that's just actually my way whatever yeah. I, I have to get out of the comfort and not comfortable situation yeah. you know of awkwardness i'm a chandler bing like yeah. I am a Chandler <laughs> Bing man. Like yeah, I yeah. gonna make joke my way out of it. Your way out <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So when they laugh, after they laugh, they kind of like didn't have a choice, you know. They're just like, okay. But they're happy with you. They're happy for you leaving, right? No. no. <laughs> well, that was for themselves, I think. Yeah. Not for you. <laughs> no, no, no. They were no. They were so scared for me. Of course, yeah, I was for nineteen, sure. twenty, like this. But it was fine. It was fine. Yeah. And how was the experience like? Yeah. How was Thailand? Yeah. Like, Oh my God, man! Thailand, like Asia, like complete different world different for me. Culture, that yeah. ma that moment, I didn't speak English at all. Wow. Yeah, and like it was complete different like life experience. But on that point, I was so ready. Like hmm. I was building in that mindset already that okay, I'm getting out, and I'm getting out not just like next city or like somewhere. Like I'm getting out somewhere yeah, far, far, far yeah. away. No, no, no. <laughs> I was east. I was dreaming of New York. Like man, yeah, like okay. I was like no, no, like, the, the <laughs> Siberia is not happening to me anymore. And when I came there, everything was like kind of like a just paradise. You've been in Thailand, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah you know the Thailand. You yeah. know, it's very hard to suck you in. <laughs> yeah. exactly. Like, it's so it's hard to, like, to leave. It's difficult. <laughs> I couldn't live for seven years, as a matter of Whoa. fact. Whoa. After half year contract, I extended the contract and I, then I quit and I made my freelance and I opened the business there. Wow. And for seven years, I stayed and it was my home. And until now and forever, it's going to be my second home. Wow, wow, man. Yeah, that's Thailand. Crazy. I remember when I came back from Thailand after like a two week trip only, yeah. I was like, oh shit, I wish I would go back now. You know, I really. How many times have you been? Once? Once only once? I've been. So how, and was I was, for how long? I was there for two weeks and it was such a beautiful place. And I was like, shit, right. I really want to go back there again. Right? So now our friends, what we have decided, we'll make this a yearly trip. Oh, yeah. Because a lot of my friends who went over there with me, it was the first time as well. 
So we're like every year we're gonna go to Thailand, you know. Like Aww. that's now that's like a thing. Wow, man, that's beautiful. But if you even if you have just two weeks, yeah. I would every year add something else. Like uh, go ten days in Thailand and four days in Cambodia. Like people uh, don't know yeah. enough, nothing about Cambodia. Beautiful yeah. places, man. Really. Go uh, ten days and four days for Malaysia. Go ten days and four days or like five days for Indonesia. You know, yeah. and not just like Bali, but oh, Bali, of course, but like there is more beautiful there's more places. Than Bali. Oh, there's so much more than yeah. Bali. You know, like Asia, it's really like for me, I have the soft spot, like whatever we're talking mm. about Asia. As a matter of fact, I've never been in India. Oh, like, really? It's my dream. It's my big like bucket list. Wow. One of the first in my bucket list that I want to go. India. Yeah. But India is so big, like which so part of India would, yeah, yeah it's so big. It'll take, it's amazing. we've not covered India yet. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, uh, now I'm going to the south. This Yala. time, first yeah. time I'm going to the Kerala? south. Of yeah, not Kerala. I'm going to. Don't Chennai. tell me Goa. No, 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 not Goa. I'm not Chennai Goa. side. Yeah. yeah, it's a bit above Kerala, but it's not uh, Kerala per se. And and when you tell people over there that you know, like you know, they go like we are not Keralites, so please don't call us Keralites. Oh on really? The, so yeah, they get really offended if you go like, oh yeah, really? Okay, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I have like friends if, from Kerala. The yeah, no, Kerala people are very nice, but yeah. these people from Chennai, from Tamil Nadu side, they're like, oh, we're not the same. How you know? come you can have racism around your own country? Yeah, then that's the maximum that's, that you face inside our own country. Yeah, because <laughs> the there's so much racist, ethnicity, right? Yeah. Like it's not racism; it's just that they're unaware about, uh, like let's say other cultures mm. or ethnicities because it's so vast. Oh yeah. God. It's just I really never got the idea of racism at all. Like even yeah. the idea of it, it just never like I never can put it in my mind. So some right. people like, just come off as mm, racist. It's yeah. just that they, they, they just don't know. <laughs> no. It's a built yeah, in because, program. Uh, no, no yeah, it's, I mean, they don't I guess, know because uh, where I stay in India, people think everything in the south is only like one country yeah. and it's not I mean, like you know it's like one people like not every, it's not and divided where are you from exactly i'm from the north which is himachal which is He's the mountains from the right? himalayas and you from himalayas yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. i come back from nepal not long ago oh wow yeah. Close where about you? Close. i'm from uh, delhi are you from delhi yeah. okay amazing yeah so amazing. everybody yeah. over there in the south they think that they're all the same people yeah <laughs> eat the same food yeah. do just, the same thing this no no many yeah. people are very educated so you think that you know that how that adds up to everything well you know what unfortunately i feel sometimes that racism is not only lack of education like yeah. there are so many highly educated countries yeah. Yeah. yet like i would go there and like face sometimes racism against me like or something like this yeah and, like i, I don't, I don't want to point some fingers but yeah, it was highly sure. educated countries and then i went to countries like laos <laughs> where i was never felt like look down and yeah. the people there like barely finished school ever like the people okay. there like barely surviving and having like rice to eat Th then yeah. but i never felt like you know being discussed or being like put a race was around me against me exactly i guess like yeah. you would have the best idea of it because you've been to how many countries 42 and that's a wow. fucking wow. lot yeah. <laughs> this, this <laughs> year <laughs> this year has gotta get 50. this wow. year has nice. gotta get no, 50. you'll do more Let's than 50 man you're sure, 60. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> tomorrow is gonna be my 43rd one. Oh yeah wow. where are you going tomorrow uh, right. i guess any guess well uh, guess Wait. I know I know the place, so I'm <laughs> going to cheat over here. <laughs> no, I'm going to Seychelles. It's actually oh. been on the bucket list for a while, so nice. I'm very excited. Are you going there been? for work? No, I haven't been. Yeah, I'll go there for work. No, to be honest, I'll be honest with you guys. Uh, after I travel a lot just by myself, like moving around sometimes without purpose, now is a favorite thing for me to go for work, to go for actual shoots. Fair. Yeah. Okay. So we're doing some fashion uh, shootings there in Seychelles for a few days. I'm not sure I'm going to see the country at all. Okay. So, but then probably I'm going to come back and, you know, and just like Planet chill there. Trip back there. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you went to Thailand for seven years? Yes. How was the life in Thailand like as a resident? Nothing mm. like in UAE. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> Nothing like it. Man, I spent so many, I, I changed so many scooters that yeah. I broke yeah. on the way to learn like yeah. mot on motorbike and stuff like this. The life there is just so, well, first of all, it's affordable. Okay, you've been yeah. there, you know, like yeah. compared to uh, like uh, European countries or UAE, like uh, you say, these countries, it's very affordable. So when even you're not getting like huge amount of money, but you're feeling fine with what you're getting and you're still living in a villa with a pool yeah, yeah. <laughs> you sure. know so it's just like yeah okay you don't need to green so hard and unfortunately for me because i am love challenges as i tell you yeah it's relaxed 
It's okay. relaxing. <laughs> it's relaxed me yeah. for like seven years. I still, thanks God, I still did some, like, you know, hustling there, yeah, uh, yeah. some business. But still, like for me, I felt at some point that I want to overgrow, overgrow somewhere else. I want to go somewhere else, expand somewhere else. I want to know more places myself. So for me, it was too relaxing. Oh my point. God, yeah. really? That's yeah. a thing? That, for me, it yeah. is. That, I'm sure thing, for someone is it, it's a blessing. Is a thing in Thailand only? Like, what you is see, man, I saw in Thai uh, islands, some people came there, especially Europeans or like Brits people who like have a lot of stress back then, like even mm. in a school, like, you know, they come and they tear, they tore their passports or they burn wow. their passports. Wow. I saw it my own eyes. I saw a person who lived 18 years in PP Island without passport, without registration, without anything, never planned to come back to their country, you know? Wow. So oh, for somebody man. it's a paradise. But for me, even though I love it to my core, it was like, no, okay, it's too relaxed. It's too sabai. Have you heard of yeah, sabai? Yeah, yeah, yeah everything sabai. is too sabai. There is yeah. just like balance and like chill and peace. Yeah. But I was too chill. I felt like I need some challenge. Okay. Damn, man. Yeah. And then UAE happened. <laughs> the oh UAE happened as the UAE. challenge. <laughs> nice, man. Sick. Well, it's one of my like biggest challenge, I think. The UAE. Wow. wow. <laughs> and how was the switch? Yeah. When from? did you come to UAE also? Oh man, like, well, between the Thailand and UAE was almost three years of like traveling almost nonstop. The mm. COVID happened. And while everybody was getting fat and just uh, sit at home <laughs> in COVID, I was constantly traveling. Wow. So Whoa. during COVID time, I get stuck in the countries constantly all the time. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I get stuck in Morocco with my travel group. I get stuck in Mexico, I get stuck in so many countries, like just because we uh, entering a country gets shut up. You know, like, like completely. So I was like traveling nonstop, get very tired. The yeah, it is tiring, of course. Yeah. So like with my huge, I had only one suitcase. Hmm. You've which, come like, here today for the with podcast. With the suitcase. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're just going to fly out right from here. Like. Any moment. I'm ready. Yeah. Yeah. My passport ready. with me. Yeah, like, let's go to the already. airport. You're there already. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm going to go. I want to see India. If <laughs> there are stations not happening, I'm like, I would be like convincing you now. It's like, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah, let's, yeah, let's go whenever you yeah. want. We're down, man. Yeah, yeah. You're my guide. Yeah. Done. Let's Amazing. go. Amazing. Done deal. Yeah. Done deal. Done. So yeah, it was three years in between. Um, And the fun fact, um, so I don't know if you are aware of the war that's happening between Russia and Ukraine yeah. for a yeah. while now, yeah. for like yeah. about two years. Uh, on that point, when it hit and nobody expected that, not not me at least, because I am almost 12 years outside my country now. Like I'm not constantly reading every news. So mm. like I really didn't expect anything like that happened. I was on a project, on a work project in Maldives for three months in the same small island. Damn. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, what the people... How small is this island? Very Because you've just done this. Yeah. Downtown. <laughs> Uh, no smaller, way. smaller than downtown. Man, no, 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 no. You can go around the island in 30 minutes. Exactly, around the whole wow. island wow. perimeter for 30 minutes just Sick. by yourself. So it was like, I don't know, maybe 800 people like stay there. Fair. And that's it. Like, there everyone knows each tourists. other. Like. Yeah, everybody knows each other, of course. But well, after three months, we was all the family. We were all like together. It's nice. amazing Muslim village. Just uh, live there in one island. And I was living there for a work project. Three months in one island. Wow. Yeah, never go back. And it was still COVID time. But the problem is, at that point, and that moment, we're hit, and they just tell us, like, uh, they notice us, like, everybody who's outside, you have to come back to the country today or tomorrow, otherwise, all your visas, all your bank accounts, all your, whatever, let's say, crypto, your PayPal, Western Union, everything, every connection to the world online will be shut down. Whoa. Whoa. And oh. until now, when I'm outside, my bank's account in Russia are like, you know, not You cannot available. use them. Yeah, I can. I barely can use them. Like Whoa. I cannot just use, go, come here to the supermarket and use my oh. Russian card, like from bank account. I, that didn't happen it's to me. It's blocked? Like, it's kind of, it's, it it's it not it blocked. It, uh, the moment I'm going to arrive to Russia, it's going to work again. Okay. It's going to like be but functional and everything. But just for inside Yeah, but I cannot use it outside now. Like mm. Visa, MasterCard, all of this, uh, you know, systems, Whoa. they get shut in one day. So they tell us, everybody who was in a company, you have to come back today. People was buying their tickets to come back Moscow, you know, to Russia. Yeah. yeah. For ridiculous money, like I don't want to say that. Like it was like in ru in rubles, it was like millions. Like it Damn. was it was very big money, okay. And uh, people asked me, like my company asked me, like, okay, you want us to buy your ticket? We we we're gonna take you. We're gonna take this uh, expenses. We're gonna cover it. I'm like, mm -mm. I feel even less to come back now. Whoa. Like I mm. didn't have like much connections and work before. 
not neither and now what i gonna do like i'm gonna feel like in a jail like i i don't want to come back and my next trip randomly just because it was the cheap flight from malaya mm. was dubai damn oh. so you came to dubai by accident by kind of by accident it was just like i i scroll like around malaya because uh you know my yeah. uh, boss gave me a free ticket to yeah. anywhere so uh, normally everybody took it for, for Russia, of course. Yeah. Everybody took and come back yeah, home obviously. after a work project. Yeah. And me, I'm like, I don't want to go back. So where is, I haven't been yet. And the ticket's so, not so expensive because I'm a shy, I'm a humble person, okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. sometimes. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, Dubai is not expensive from Mali. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I'm like, can you, can you buy me to UAE? They're like, yeah, sure, if you want to. I'm yeah. like, yeah, I haven't been, I'll go there. Sick. So Dubai. I thought I'm going to have like a bunch of money after wow. three months. Yeah. But all my money got blocked, uh, stuck in oh, the accounts. No. Yeah. And in our island, we didn't have ATM. Oh. So what do they use there then? No, nothing. We just use some local money that we change, like, you know, some okay. dollars yeah. and stuff. And uh, we get all the transfers. It was all like legal company. So all the transfers, all invoice to our accounts. Okay. But accounts get blocked. Oh. How did you... You, how do you live? Yeah, <laughs> people what? ask me that a lot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> For past two years, <clears throat> and especially because the first one year I was traveling nonstop myself, by myself alone, I couldn't book myself a flight ticket. I couldn't book myself hotel. I couldn't book myself a bus, anything, the meal. I couldn't pay just for a meal. I had to do it cash. What the fuck is happening? Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> what the fuck? The fuck? It actually was kind of a struggle. So how did you manage through that? Well, I had some cash that I, you know, managed to just to transfer the exact same day and I get from the people yeah. over there. So like everything like legally from my salary, we just get it like ca- cash that day. But that's was that's it. Like that that's much. Yeah. Everything else I got. I came here and it's funny enough. I didn't have ticket back from from Dubai, uh, Dubai you know, yeah. so I, I actually, don't think you still have one back. Right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I, I, I was, Dubai yeah it was. No, no, not, still, <laughs> not, say, uh, not since then. But I, I arrived in Abu Dhabi and I asked my followers, uh, I love those people, man. They, they give me the best advices in my life. I asked them, uh, what do I do? How long do I stay? And I'm like, this in is Dubai. my situation. Yeah, in a, in a UAE, in Dubai, in Abu Dhabi. Yeah. Like I, yeah. I try to explore the places. I'm like, how long do I stay? People tell me, with your situation, three days. With Damn. your situation, okay, one week you'll survive probably. I decided to stay three weeks. Okay. And then I get the flight to Thailand, as a matter of fact. Again, I sometimes I just like to, you know, like yeah. back. Like yeah, it's almost not? a yearly thing for me yeah. too. Yeah. But those three weeks, man, I didn't spend hundred bucks. Whoa. What? Yeah. I spent oh. hundred bucks every daily. Second. I daily. Spend bucks daily. Every little <laughs> here, man. Yeah. Like, what are you saying? How did that work? How first is happening? Three whole weeks here in UAE, I was on a Nas Daily, you know, summit. Yeah. Yeah. I was collabing with like Edition. I was collabing with uh, Redison. Whoa. I was Whoa. full fledged working on collaborations and making my network because I arrived knowing zero person here. Like the yeah. whole one wow, month man. before come here, I was in my Instagram texting every hotel, texting every videographer, wow. every influencer. Let's connect. Let's do something. Let's create something. I'll do the free content for you. I have my camera and this is the way I'm making my living. Wow. Okay. What can I do to you? What can I do? What can I do for your hotel? And then some hotels start to reaching me back, yeah. you know, like, okay, like Shangri-La. Like, yeah, okay, come shoot, stay like this. Redison was amazing. I stayed for two days. Yeah. They texted me uh, answering my stories. You know what? Stay two days more. Whoa. And I'm like, what is happening? Dude. I never met, I never seen people like place like that on earth that wow. I seen UAE. It was yeah. such a like a land open for like opportunities for influencers and yeah. content creators. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. So when you're gonna I, come and create content for the place, right? Yeah. yeah. And you're Which top I didn't quality, know, like, but I didn't know that time. Mm, so imagine wow. I arrived with this background with these fears, you know, I was so stressed. And I supposed to have a few shoots all get canceled because uh, because of the war people couldn't yeah. come yeah like made the shoots yeah. happened and then everything was like like barely I ever paid like it was on wow. collapse I was paid with my job of course yes. I was busy mm. for three weeks I was busy wow but I was like moving around and I did stuff that I loved yeah. without spending my cash so it was all on a, like you know collaborations and volunteering matter and I loved it. And like, just like as we guys, we come, we see, like we get to know each other. Okay, maybe we're going to be like helpful network for each other tomorrow, right? Yeah. So that's what for happened sure. to me for three weeks. And then I had to leave because I had a ticket to Thailand. And when I left... From all the... From all this, man, I miss UAE 
badly. Wow. Yeah. Dude, respect, man. Respect. Yeah, that was, I mean, 100 drums in three weeks. I spent 100 drums every week. Dollar. Every day. I, I just yeah. spent I some just money. Coming up. Wow. Yeah. I've, that was so good. And yeah, then, barely. I, I think I, and that's $100 was literally to buy some t-shirt, I think, on mm. Dubai Mall. Like, oh. un- honestly. Yeah. That is so, the next level. So, so you stayed at the best hotels. Yeah. In UAE yeah, for free. I went to the best events. Yeah. I stay in the best hotels. I in a NAS summit at that time. It was only one Russian, and uh, because of I had some ridiculous outfit. Yeah. Come on, I come back straight from uh, Maldives. Okay, here, mm-hmm. and uh, they took me to the stage and they asked me who I am and something, and they put me on TV. It was just like one second thing. Whoa. But for me, I get so much inspired, and I'm yeah. like, yeah, I'm Russian. They're like, yo, Russia, how you survive now? And that's what people oh. ask me a lot. <laughs> that's what people ask me. They're like, how are you even surviving? I'm like, I'm not just surviving. I'm here, man. Damn. Yeah. And not everyone can do that. By not way. everyone can, not do everyone that. can do that. Thank you. Thank You're you so much. <laughs> yeah. Super next level. So my, my thing was, after I went away, I went for half year and I've seen 14 countries. And it was uh, just like 2022. 20, and for me, the goal was to find a country and find a place where I want to make a base. Because I get so much like tired of carrying my, you know, yeah. my bag, my yeah. huge suitcase and my backpack with all my equipment. I get tired to do it alone by myself. And I just like, I need a place I, I can call home. At I need least. to rent a place or buy a house. Like something. something. Like that, right? I need <laughs> Anything. something, yeah. man. I need somewhere to unpack. Like yeah, to this feeling true. of unpack. I didn't have it for like a long while. Wow. And 14 countries, everywhere I missed UAE. Where every, yeah, I go, everywhere beautiful went. places. I went to Paris for a while. I love it. Barcelona, amazing places. Uh, Peru, I fall in love with South America. Wow. wow. Everywhere I missed UAE. Because so you I missed all the back. happenings, right? I gotta yeah. come back, yeah. yeah. I miss all the challenges. And you gotta be here. You wanna move, you'll move. Like, they give yeah. you all the opportunities. I'm sure if you, like, don't want to, here it's gonna be a struggle for you. You Yeah. Are, yeah. I'm like, you tell me about it. You guys... No, uh, I mean, it's all good. Like, it's all about... We're just pushing, hu- hustling. Hustling. And it's working out. But that's yeah. what you want, yeah. probably. Yeah, yeah. 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 exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. That's this is what you have inside you. That's why you started yeah. this thing as yes. well. So exactly. Because you have it inside you to push constantly. Yeah. But for people who come here, and I had a friend who tell me before, I didn't want to come back, come here to the matter of fact, because people tell me bad things about UAE. They mm-hmm. tell okay. me it's all, you know, you yeah. know what they say? I know, yeah. Exactly. Dubai is fake, Dubai is plastic, yeah. there is nothing real, there is no real people, there is no good people, like all of these kind of things I heard before, before I arrived here. And I thought like, okay, I don't really want to go. But because the t- ticket was not expensive from yeah. Mali, I'll check it out. Yeah. Man, I feel like UAE have everything for everyone, depending on what you're looking for. Exactly. There's a bit of everything here. Well, yeah. There's a lot of everything here, actually. Yeah. I really feel like there is not like you cannot fit for UAE. It's UAE maybe not fit for you if yeah. you are lazy. Exactly. If you exactly. don't want if you're to lazy, be on it. You have yeah. to be hustling. You got to keep do. moving. You got yeah, to keep, keep moving. You got to keep moving. That's for exactly. sure. That's for sure. And for me, so far, uh, that's like what I'm striving for is to like I, I was striving and like craving for some movement until I come here. Exactly. <laughs> now I'm mean, craving for a day of. But uh, were you of like, sup- <laughs> were you surprised with the, uh, the diversity of UAE? Like you know, I see a lot of people who come and they're like, wow, this full melting pot. Like you know, so many different people. Like I've never seen so many different cultures. True, true. And imagine just from the first days I went for like content content creator, you know, summit. Like as an a summit, it was a uh, content creator from everywhere in the world. Yeah. And uh, I met also the organizers, like Nasir himself, like the amazing people and everything. And it was just from everywhere but not from my country so you're the only one right? yeah well i was the only one like russian there at least who i met uh, personally it was a huge event of course maybe someone that was there that i didn't know and for me it was like okay this is the really land that building right now you know the land that's mm. happening right now yeah as the foundation of different like diverse cultures like, yeah, coming together yeah. in balance and somehow they managing not to kill each other <laughs> <laughs> and i'm like how are you guys doing it it's amazing yeah. this is honestly my one of the first like think Things, that, yeah. that i had so like how so, you have this sort of a thinking since we've been born and brought up over here do uh, you see it change a lot or is the yeah. same uh, no, dynamics it's always been like this so i don't relate with the fact that how can you want to hurt a person just for being from another country mm. yeah i can't relate with that but yeah. a lot of my a lot of people from different countries who live in their countries will probably not be able to relate to me in mm. that sense right yeah like how you're saying i can't believe so many people are like here and not killing each other 
exactly yeah. that's and very normal like I'm and i can't believe that a few people have the thing i want to kill that person because they're from some other country like yeah. how does it even matter like no okay I, that kill is too much contribution yeah, but put down like yeah. the people i mean whatever <laughs> don't not like you know yeah, oh, yeah, right, right. like i don't know the, this um urge of putting down someone else i really it, and it took me a lot believe me like man it took me like uh, my I don't know, like late years of maturity to like actually get to this point behind every person who want to put another down is a big hurt. Like it's mm. always a big pain. Yeah. I, I don't know what's your pain. I don't know what's your problem, but I'm sad for you because you are like, okay, having those urge to put someone down. Yeah. I am sure like, and I'm always feel like, okay, I'm blessed. I don't have this feeling in me. It's mean I was lucky or blessed enough to, you know, I, I don't have this kind of pain. Yeah. Like, I don't know why, but I have, friends from probably every country like all close to every country yeah. on earth so like i probably i'm being blessed and i have to like express the gratitude but For i sure. i always now i feel because before i was so you know as a journalist i wouldn't want to fight yeah. every time yeah, yeah, i want yeah. i was like no let's speak of the but, let's but, go but as a court. journalist you probably need that right to yeah. like be more like mm. what do you call it to get more of a push to do and you gotta have a passion you know you, got, you know yeah, you gotta passion. have a passion to like yeah. dig to the truth yes exactly but the thing is like every time for me it was like I was thinking like the every time like no you're wrong I try to prove my point like yeah. when I was younger and this is how I feel like we are getting like mature because I really wanted to prove my point on anything like there is like oh no I know right oh no I read so many books oh no I read, I know this yeah. news like you know now it's still like it's and it's always going to be like a human always arguing about like whose truth is truth there yeah, yeah. Right? exactly yeah for me now I feel like I'm on a like some stage that I feel like okay I might don't want to prove you my truth yeah i yeah. might feel like if you want to put someone down there's a lot of pain and i'm sorry for you so i'm like i feel now it's like racism is something i'm not relate completely but if there it is and there is this like plenty of it i just mm. distance myself as i tell like my circle is super small you're not fit like i'm, I'm yeah. so sorry like you cannot uh, possibly be racist man like be my friend no like, i mean not even, just, no. not even not that, gonna like, work. it's not gonna yeah, work you can face something um Jokes are fine though. Huh? Jokes are fine. Jokes, Jokes are, are fine, fine man. <laughs> Jokes are okay. Different <laughs> games, right? But I'm talking about in terms of your profession. Yeah. Like, uh, so you're a photographer, right? Like, there'll be plenty of times where people in your job will be coming and probably like putting you down in some or the other way, right? Do you go through that a lot? Mm, well, I guess it might seems like that from outside that people might but for me i actually one of the reason i like photography that i am the boss of the situation you see the problem or not problem or my advantage is the person who i'm working with be it the brand be it uh, like the thing be it be the person itself be the company of people they best interest to keep me happy with yeah. them you know okay, so if you d insult me right now yeah. i'm gonna make you ugly oh. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, yeah. so that you better be nice while i'm taking your picture so i use that a little bit as advantage and also this helped me to closer understand people like you know psychology and and help people also like okay i come to the room and i see like your face i'm gonna know already what features i like on a person face yeah. and i am like that i always follow in love to every person like in every client every time just for this um moment of taking yeah. pictures i'm full in love with the person like oh this beautiful eyes oh this have a nice smile like charming wow. oh your hair like something else i always gonna keep it in mind and i was gonna keep repeating it to the person so i'm gonna keep him in a good mood or yeah. her in a good mood as well and they're gonna like okay why would they hurt me back right maybe they are racist uh, about me and my country like something probably they interest me to be in the best mood so i'll keep them and be in the best yeah. mood and, and yeah, i'm like, gonna be in the best good result. energies right like, yeah the, like good energy in a like in a session for me okay. in a photo shoot like that is the most important thing i really really working hard to just keep this very hype positive energy for me yeah. i always feel like my photo shoot is there like a psychology you know session for the person like right. i make i will make you fell in love with yourself you want it or not <laughs> Wow. On my session. That's next wow. level, man. A yeah. lot of people need that also. Yeah. Right? I try I try to be uh, that. Like for me, that's more important than actually final result, maybe. Because this is what I believe really. Like people tell me it's fun to work with you. Because yeah. it's, it's got to be fun anyway. Like it's in the end of the day, you want to like come back home smiling, right? Yeah. 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 And person going to feel good. Like after your session with me, you're going to yeah. be in the best mood for the like, go to a date. <laughs> you're going to like go get I'm the, the shape, coffee. Yeah. And, like yeah, yeah. yeah. You're going to be like, I'm in a good shape. Like yeah, yeah. That 
pretty girl tell me like i have a nice smile you know like i drive and i'm not lying that's the thing like i know like uh, something about russians or especially siberians i'll tell you we are straightforward people i not tolerate any bullshit i'm yeah. allergic to bullshit man like Fair. i cannot like i cannot lie but i always will find something if that's yeah. my client and i cannot find anything i love about him yeah i'm not gonna work with him like oh, okay. it's mean it's probably not my person completely and i had uh, not much very less but i had a couple times in my life when i was denying a job i was like okay. i'm sorry like okay you've been like rude not only to me but like the people around and something we cannot work together can't vibe can't yeah we can't it. we can't it's just like I, in this moment i cannot make um you know find the thing to fall in love with you it's mean today i'm not taking a picture Fair and it's no. happened only like in my career like in 13 years uh, of photography maybe like twice Wow. wow yeah but it happened for me like that's, that's like the most important that, that means there are some people out there who have <laughs> no like you know there are kind of could be a people like there was yeah, a, literally in the worst thing like and i'm really feel guilty guys i'm gonna be like oh my god <laughs> i'm gonna tell you like uh that's my scene probably i ruined once I should I should brag about myself and my job. I'm gonna tell you something bad Please about do. me. No, no, I no, 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 no. I'm gonna tell you something <laughs> bad about me now. <laughs> no, okay. So stuff, once, cool. only once, I yeah. ruined a person uh, honeymoon picture. Oh, oh. You know But how? But you do it on purpose. I did it on purpose. Wow. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> how, how I'm so that? sorry. The person was rude to his new wife oh. and to me. Okay. And I tell I tell him once, I tell him twice, then I come to her and I tell like I'm so sorry, I cannot take your picture today. Like I'm so sorry for you. Like if you're ready like to go with me right now, I'll take your picture. I cannot work with your husband. There's like there's no like no point for me to even try. Yeah. The person he's not not in his senses probably. I don't know the person. I really don't know. Maybe he has a very bad day. But right now there is n- n- there is no possibility for us to work together. Like yeah. he was just rude to the world, you know, yeah, like cursing around. That's, see, that's around, what like I was trying to get to. Like in your profession, sometimes you come across these people, right? Like, you rarely, like very rarely. It's yeah. like something really like didn't meant to happen. Yeah. But to be honest, if yeah. I was the bride, if I was yeah. the wife, I would divorce tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> like they you ruined honeymoon. my honeymoon <laughs> picture. You gotta get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, I think more than the picture, it should be for the behavior. Too, right? Like that yeah, should be exactly. the guy. Yeah, like, exactly. Like what? The, so that's like super rare situation for me. But okay. that's happened. Yeah, I had yeah. experience like that as well. That's crazy, man. Like, That's but I mean, everyone comes across every kind of people in their life. Yeah, but I mean, can you imagine like somebody come here? Like, you imagine the type of the person that you would just don't like to make the podcast with, like uh, any kind of behavior that you would just like get out of here, like you not fit in. I no? mean, uh, for me, I feel like we're providing a platform, right? So I'm not here to judge you. You know what Same I mean? as me. Yeah, yeah, so I, yeah. I am taking the, the, the picture. Yeah. Like I am here to help you exactly. anyway in the yeah. end of the day. Yeah. But like if the person like complete rude, yeah. you know, unprofessional, rude, like very um, just disrespectful to you and others yeah. and you see it from outside, I feel like there is a somewhere that you have to cross like the, the build a boundary, like uh build this wall. It's like yeah. I'm so sorry, but today is not happening. When we come across someone like that on the podcast, mm. I'm gonna send you a message. I'm like, this is the person, but I'm not saying. It happened. <laughs> this happened is the finally. person. Yeah, you can say uh, that's an attack. I'll, yeah. I'll talk to a person. Well, but that's a funny thing. Like uh, five, ten years ago, I would really attack. I would just like, what is the problem? Yeah. Right yeah. now, I really want to come to the person and say what hurt you. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Right you know, now, I really feel like. Like you already person. know by now, right? Like yeah. it's because of some other thing that's going wrong that the anger is coming out somewhere else. Hundred percent. Yeah. I feel like there's nothing about you. Uh, when the person being like rude and disrespectful to you, it's always about them and it's unfortunate. Yeah, it's something so, going on in the head yeah. and some unresolved things probably exactly. coming out somewhere else. Exactly. Yeah. 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 But that's, man, that uh, took me a very long time, like <laughs> hard do, ways to get. Do you, do you feel like you'd sometimes end up doing some something like that? Being rude? Like just being rude. Let's say, for example, you're being rude to me, but something mm. else is, you're pissed off because of something else. Uh, at work, I'm very hard to work with. Like, so I have my team. I always try to build like my team and I like pick very good like people who I can trust uh, to work together. But I am hard person to deal with. Okay. If you're doing anything unprofessional, but I'm going to be very straightforward. It's again, like I'm yeah. severe. I'll be not just maybe rude or not rude. It depends of your perspective. You can take it, yeah. how you can take it. But I'll be very straightforward. Some people cannot take it. Like yeah. I'll be very straightforward. Okay, we fucked up over here. We got to fix it. Like this, mm. this, 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 your mistake, my mistake, what do you think about it? If the person not communicative, they're going to be a problem. I'm this just sounds like, let's, like si- let's sit and discuss, discuss. this. Sh- yeah. Like if the person like, you know, get defensive, we can work together. 
Like it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard for us. This is somewhat like how uh, it is to work in a kitchen, by the way. Kitchen. Yeah. yeah. Have you worked in a kitchen? Yeah. So I did hotel management. Oh, so wow. I had a f- I had a month working in the kitchen, like every semester, give or take. Whoa. So it's just like super crazy. Like someone is screaming from here, from the back. Someone's it's carrying a hot mess. vessel past you. You gotta do like. What kind of pr- food? Uh, so so I did my internship in uh, Crown Plaza, Sheikh Zayed Road. Okay. And uh, it's mad, man. Like so, they have like a seven. Buffet. S- yeah, like a buffet, seven cuisine buffet and everything. So you sort of cover like Every almost day. everything, like this Ooh. Arabic, continental, Indian. Like That's you say crazy. it, it's there. That's crazy. So what was your position? Uh, I was just a sous chef. Like yeah. I just went there for my internship during my university. So you're a good cook. So, uh, so yeah, I mean we had to like do the small things like you <laughs> know cutting the onions. Mm. Uh, not like actual cooking. <laughs> yeah, not actual cooking. Uh, not the final product. We were just asked to mix and taste and tell. Mm. And uh, I guess you gotta learn there. Yeah. Obviously, like, that's the part of learning, right? Like, mm. but we did get to make pastries though. That was super cool. Yeah. Nice. Like you gotta bake the tart. Yeah. Pick Why, it okay, out, I'm like. hungry with this talk. <laughs> Why there is no like plate of pastries like some croissants? Oh, over we here. should. Thank you for that. Thank you. Yeah. Definitely so have what do you think and we should you know, get? Like chips or nuts and or both? Like no, no. Make it different for different person. And like start the start with the sound. Like yeah. I would break the cross and here. <laughs> 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 That's a really great idea. Yeah. yeah. Should, you know, it's that. just like your name like appears. I'm a marketer man. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, so already the any any merch. She's the one who's gonna done market, done. Yeah, we're gonna advertise. Please, please. Yeah. Right? Okay. So I done. mean, I know you have marketer in the house as well, but. Yeah, uh, my, but he's a real estate agent, so... Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm a real estate agent, so yeah, I don't... studied uh, marketing. Oh, my God. I saw, I saw the villa today. <laughs> <laughs> In yeah. the Mac I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We, no, no, no. Of course, I'm not me. I am, Unfortunately, I never get myself into real estate, mm-hmm. but sometimes we're shooting, we're shooting some content for them. It just also mm-hmm. fascinates me. I actually love the most, uh, I, I'm a fashion photographer, but one of the most things I love to work with is the hotels. Just because the hotels have everything. It's have yeah. some uh, kind of lifestyle, they have F&B, have people, some of the good places have fashion, you know, like some uh, content. So it's just have so much, have video. Free video. stays. Yeah, yeah. Uh, free, yeah. yeah and free stays <laughs> and collabs and free stays and free food and good food. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta make a good food there and nice breakfast. Yeah. Oh, I'm such a breakfast person your breakfast oh yeah do you waste yeah. the breakfast no at I the don't hotels no 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 never I, I do so it. much wasting I have I waste like I mean like I never used to go for shame break, shame like shame all. I don't shame. go for breakfast you don't go for breakfast so yeah. you waste the money that you spend yeah. on breakfast I waste the breakfast. money I was like oh shit I took the breakfast package <laughs> I, I didn't go for it because I woke up late <laughs> never no I'll wake up for breakfast <laughs> like wake me up you know this uh, in an airplane wake yeah. me up for food yeah. Yeah. literally put the alarm at least like 20 minutes, 15 minutes, I'll brush my teeth, I go get some coffee, I'll get some nice. pastry. Yes, nice. 100%. No. Would you go back and sleep then or you start your day regardless? <laughs> 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 no, you see, for me, it happened so many times that I would wake up like at 4 a.m., go to see, uh, shoot sun, sunrise, then I come back for breakfast in a hotel yeah. and then go to sleep. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> so for me, the sunrises and sunsets are like really a treasure of the day. Like really, I cannot miss the spots. Yeah. For most of the shoots, we need those. Like, okay, I started my shoot at 2 p.m. today. We still was waiting until 5. Like, you know, we were just sitting and waiting until the sun oh. gonna be and that peak on the villas to make this beautiful oh. like you know Sick. sun this thing golden mm. hour it has shot. to be the yeah. perfect like shot perfect right. golden hour shot we got it we're like okay we're happy we wrapped, wrapped up together so when it comes to your job you have to be the perfectionist when it comes to like this thing everything has to be perfect well fine enough i'm not perfectionist at all and i don't know what is uh what is it to do with like maybe my lifestyle that i moved a lot uh, i'm just i never been a perfectionist so mm. i am the mess um the chalice and i just enjoy to be like a master of my mess you know it's like yeah. my shoes are always the mess but i could like i love controlled mess hmm. like you know right. like okay there's many the things mess happen. that you can control yeah. exactly <laughs> right. the mess that i can control and i can be sure that i am like i damn like well with my mess but a perfectionist i would love to hire people who, like Pro- for me perfection is yeah. like videographer editor like that you gotta be perfectionist like yeah. then i trust you i'm not gonna even tell you like you should you know you should okay amazing you know your work you're gonna make it done and make it good i'm not perfectionist like if i do a videography like oh, i'm not not so well like but my pictures i'm precise yeah okay like, it's something that i'm good what goes into like a like into the preparation of a shoot 
Mm. Ooh, well, that's very depends, of course. But I guess it's always about the mood, what you want to bring like, of the result. You know, just think about either that's a fashion or today we did a real estate, uh, you know, there's like shooting mm. and what you advertise it with, or it's a hotel with a whole like buffet thing and like yeah. and everything. Yeah. And is it like five star luxury hotel that is hard to even get in? Or is it just like literally like hotel for everyone, like lifestyle to stay or business stay or something. So it's every time we're thinking about what like the market of it so that's why my like two degrees are very complementing i feel like yeah. each other because yeah. every time i'm thinking of the final product who i'm selling it to yeah. what what kind of feelings i'm playing with like okay if that's i don't know like uh, coffee like we are selling the one kind of lifestyle if this food what kind of lifestyle we're selling so it's always the feeling of what you're selling on the final product that is how your preparation gonna go because the most preparation for me is a mood board so okay. I'm always know what I'm shooting tomorrow, even if I don't know like where is exactly what the product gonna look like or how the model maybe exactly maybe we change something in the last moment. I'm gonna have an idea so I calm myself down and I can sleep. Other than that, if I don't have any idea, I'm not sleeping. Like man, oh, wow. I, so many times I stay awake the whole night just because the stuff's still finalizing. Damn. So yeah. I, I uh, love my mess, but it's always. But you're you know, always on the go, right? Like I always, it's always, always stressing happening me. Happening. Yeah. It's yeah. always stre- every time on a shoot until now, like 13 years I'm in a photography. Until now, I'm stressing every time. I'm you like the stress, shoot. though. I yeah. love it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. It's keep me alive. <laughs> Keeps you alive. Yeah. Man, I feel like this uh, feeling that people, like, I don't know, they go to Everest. People are like jumping from mountains, like, yeah. jumping from airplanes. This is I go own. to the shoot, and every time I don't know what's like, what's going to happen, like, in a few minutes, this is what keeps me alive. Damn. Yeah. So we're going to come to the question. Oh, please. Are you ready for the answer? I don't know. <laughs> the okay, so. Do I um, have to be quick? Mm, up to Do you. Do I have to don't think about it? Yeah, I think it just come naturally. So what was your actual what the fuck is happening moment, which you would probably think that you l- you broke the threshold and you came out something else from it? Well, that's definitely the story as I told you about uh, picking up the camera itself, mm, yeah. because that's turned uh, around my whole life from understanding of, uh, you know, being a journalist from the, uh, dreaming of something and being devastated by, by the idea of like, okay, I cannot get rich there. Like I, I cannot uh, get it. Like, okay, I was too deluded. I failed mm. from failure, you know, yeah, the, when yeah. you reach the failure until the moment that you get like, not just new hope, but new purpose. So for me, when I pick the camera, I'm like, I enjoy it so much that I'm not even looking back. So the, like the understanding that it was a better plan for me that yeah. was my what the fuck happened my Damn, moment, like complete man. one and of course moving abroad like start oh, yeah. to travel like traveling expand your mind like traveling widens your mind your mindset i always when if i can give only one advice to people travel yeah <laughs> and on that note this is the end of the podcast. Thank oh, you. Oh, guys, that was so much fun. Did you, ha- did you enjoy it? Did you have a good I time? I love it. Yeah. I could just keep going. If yeah. you have the whole night ahead, let's just uh, chat here. We, we get you back <laughs> on again. For <laughs> sure. I'm waiting your merch. Yes. yes. I'm waiting the discussion of how we're advertising it. Okay? okay. And I'm waiting to be one of the first customer of your merch. Okay? Awesome. And uh, we're waiting for your call. We'll take you over to India and show you. The yeah. Oh, Yay, I would love to show you. Let's go. Yeah. Deal. Yeah. Deal. Done. Yeah, your passport ready. Yeah. All right, like, share, and subscribe, guys. Thank you so much, Anesthesia. Take care. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys.